Hey all, welcome to programming knowledge. Hope you are all doing good. So this is a tutorial in which we are going to open a directory view using PyQt5. So let's get started with the coding part. So the things which I have imported for opening a directory view that I'm going to use inside the program for like opening the directory view as an output is queue application, queue file system model, queue tree view, queue tree view, and then queue widget and queue box layout. And followed by I've imported queue icon. So this is a common uh, thing which we have used uh, in the earlier programs as well. The title, left top, page, and height. And inside the init UI, we are going to start with the coding part before the cell block show. The first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the self keyword followed by dot model equals to queue file system model. Which we have imported. So I'm going to close that. The next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to again use the self keyword followed by I'm going to use model dot set road path and inside this I'm going to leave this as blank as a form. The next thing I'm going to do is what I'm going to do is I'm going to again use a self keyword followed by tree and equals to Q tree view. Okay, so we have imported, uh, we have used the things which we have imported. Then lastly, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use again self dot tree dot set model. And inside this, I'm going to pass on self dot model. There we go. So we have passed on the self dot model. So let's leave some space. And uh, the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the word self dot tree dot. I'm going to set animated and inside this let's keep this as false okay the next step what i'm going to do i'm going to use the self dot tree dot set indentation indentation and let's keep this as 20 so after that What I'm going to do, I'm going to use the self keyword followed by dot tree dot set sorting enabled. I'm going to use the sorting dot enabled and inside this, let's keep this as true. So once it's done. Okay, so let's leave some more space over here, and then what we are going to do now next is I'm going to use self keyword followed by tree dot set window title. as that review here we go so it's done now so the next thing is self dot tree dot set resize as 640, 480. Here we go. So after doing this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a window layout variable. And inside this, I'm going to use the QE box layout. 
which we have imported then followed by we are going to use this window layout which we have created and by using the dot variable I'm going to use add widget and inside this let's let's use self dot tree okay so after doing this what else is remaining we need to set the layout by using self dot set layout and inside this after using self dot set layout inside this what we are going to do now we are going to pass on the window layout which we have created okay so it's done now so after doing this we need to use the self dot show Okay, so everything is done now. All the things have been defined. So we set the window title and then we have provided the self dot model. Then, followed by we use the QT tree. Then, we set the animated as false and indentation as 20 and set window title as directory view. Then we use the QE box layout and pass on the cell dot tree and inside the set layout we pass on the window layout which we have created inside the QE box layout has been defined. So all the steps have been defined. Let's now go ahead and run the program and check for the output. So here we go, we are running the program. Okay, so it's loading in. As you can see, a directory has been created with uh, with the columns that have been that I have in my system, which is C, E, and F. So a directory has been created, and uh, as you can see, all the stuffs I can see over here. So I can open anything you want. So here we go. So we have successfully created the directory view by using simple lines of code uh, with. Uh, setting the with using the set root path q file system model qt tree and then followed by we use the qe box layout and then like we use the window layout which we created inside the set dot set layout there we go so this is how we create a directory and uh, hope this session was clear and this will be useful for you if you are creating a larger application where you want to open the directory view so that's it for today. As you can see, I can minimize and maximize as well. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining with Programming Knowledge. We'll, uh, we'll be coming with more exciting tutorials with PyQt5 in the next tutorials. Thank you for joining with Programming Knowledge. Bye, guys.